Hi, my name is Mike Lidata G, and today we're going to do a little trick that might help a lot of people that have to do a multiple of holes, and uh, you really want to have to get out of this job as fast as possible. So, what does it entail? Well, you got, let's say in this case, I'm putting a chuck on here that's going to be um, used for um, uh, a bench uh, bench drill, a drill press, and they want to clamp it down so we don't really need tremendous accuracy on the holes. We just need them to line up with the, the chuck holes. So we're making three holes. The idea is that usually you're going to use your center drill, then you're going to use a pilot drill, and then you're going to use your third drill, and then finally you're going to tap the hole. What most people do is they clamp it down, they use their center drill, then they use the next drill, then they use the third drill, and then they tap, and then they have to repeat the process three times. So the reason why is because you kind of want to make sure that this is lined up. You want to make sure the tap is lined up straight going into the hole or else you get something like this. And even if you do it by eye, you're not going to really get it to work right. Well, one way is for some people to pull your quill down and pull it down all the way. You can line up the hole that way with uh, uh, the drill bit, but then you're, you're still taking everything apart three times or two times. You, know, you can put your drill back in here and you can line it up, pull it back out, clamp it down, and drill. Here's a faster way. We just drilled our final hole, our 5 16 hole, and now we're going to tap it. You put the drill in the hole, you have whatever you're using to line up your tap with, you know, whatever, and then all you got to do is line up your drill that you just drilled a hole with, with whatever you're using to keep it on center. That's it. Now you're done. Now we know we're center. So after that, you grab a clamp, whatever you want to use as a clamp. Uh, let me pull out a. You know, I'm in a wood shop right now, so we'll just use a wood clamp. And, and we clamp it to our table. As you can see, we're clamped. There. Check again. Right on the point. If we have to move a little bit, we move it. We're good. Take out the drill. I already put some cutting fluid on here. Hold it down. And we start going. There you go. You know, we're not going to drill the holes together. You guys can do that. And we're not even going to do the whole tap for you. You can try it yourself. But at the end of the day, when you're done, you're going to have a nice right angle, straight set of threads, and you're not going to have to do the process that takes forever. You could just do it a lot faster. And the idea is speed. The greater speed you got, the better you're going to get your job done and move on. Let me put a little more, a little more tapping, aluminum tap on there. And then you just, you know, tap your hole. And then when you're done, you see the clamp is holding it down good. And you can do your next tap the same way. You don't have to stress to do all processes and then move on. Here, you can center drill all the way around, pilot hole all the way around, and drill all the way around. I don't know what your tolerances are for your job. That's something you have to figure out yourself. But this is a nice, easy way to get right angle, tap it, and not have to remove all your uh, drills all the time. Hope you've enjoyed this video. And just so that you get a kick out of this, the tap is nice in now. Let's take this out. And if you look, yeah, you know, you know, let's fold it this way. It's right on the money. You'll see. See? If you look on the flat over here, 
it's right angle other side right angle from your perspective right angle very simple fix simple way to do this and you can do this tapping process in one third of the time you put it back and I'll continue my tapping and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and God bless.